Well, I'm out here today doing some digging. I just got a really good signal down here showing up as an 87. And check out what it is. It's right on the side there. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a standing Liberty quarter. It sure is. That is awesome. Oh, man. Not going to rub it too much. Wow. Silver. I've only been here about 15 minutes. This thing was blowing my ears out. Now that's a big magnolia tree. Wow. I'm searching right here beside the house. It's all kinds of trash in the ground. But if you work it slow, you can pick out the good targets. Check out this tree right here. There's a huge limb hanging off of it. Wow. You don't see stuff like that every day. That's really sweet. I just got a really good signal over here. It was showing up as a 90, and I dug down, and the target's in the plug. Come check out what it is. It looks silver, but it may be aluminum. You see it right there? It's huge. Look what it says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's from John 3.16. And on the back, it has a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ, your Son, died on the cross for my sins, was buried for three days, and rose again. Thank you for giving me eternal life through him. Amen. It's just right there, showing up as an 82. You, can, you should be able to hear it through my headphones. It's down about four to six inches. We'll dig the hole and see what it is. It may just be trash, but it sure does sound good. Dirt's nice and soft around this house. You see anything in there? There it is. Just a copper penny. Sure did sound good. Let's try to cover this in nice and neat. I'll never know we were here. I just found an old thimble. That's pretty cool. It's getting dark on me. It's 6.15 right now. So I'll probably dig for about 10 more minutes. Then I'll head back to my truck. I'm searching this huge field now. It's right beside the house. But so far, it's been a great two hours of detecting. Maybe we'll get to come back here another day. I'm out here at a spot today. Almost got stuck in some mud a couple minutes ago. But we made it out alive. I want to get my gear on. We're going to search some old house sites out here. There was two old houses, and we're hoping that we'll find some relics. You can see all the mud. Man, that was a, a muddy mess. You should have seen the mud hole. Let's go find some relics. Let's do. Look at this! <laughs> First hole of the day! I love it! It's freezing out. I got a good hit. I, I flipped the dirt out of the hole, and I'm like, nothing. Yeah, it was I funny. I, I, I go up, I go, Nug, come over here. See if you can hear this, because I heard a great sound. And he had knocked Apparently, it out. Apparently, the thing just went flying way out here. So it's like laying out here. Now I'm going to brush it off and see what it is. 1941. Awesome. It's going to be a great day. Ah, it's a great start to the day. Now I'll probably not find anything the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Lift it up. It, it's got to be a coin. That's a dime. Yeah, it's got to be. It's a dime. It's it, dead it's on a dime. It's that's the sickening. It's the best signal I've heard all day. Let me. That's a, that's going to be a coin for sure. Here, I'll get out of the way. Oh yeah. Can't pick it up too far in the air, so that means it's a small target. 
81. I sure hope it's silver. That'd be nice. Ooh, it's in the plug. It's shallow. Maybe trash. God, what is it? It's a coin. A modern penny, stinking Lincoln. No way. <laughs> yeah, Man, that sounded good. It sure did. Man. Oh, now it's jumped up to yeah. 81. Man, when I hit it at first, it sounded like it may be tin foil. I mean, it got a little better. Yep, there it go. Oh man, showing up good now. Still may be trash. No, what is it? Oh, what is that? I don't know, it's a type of brass object. It looks like a shell casing, but I don't think that's what it is. No telling, we'll clean it up a little bit more later though. It's old relic, let's go find some more. That's a beautiful signal. Showing up as an 86. I'm hoping it's a silver quarter. That'd be nice. Oh man. Let's dig it. Heading back to the truck. We got a good signal. Dig a big hole so we don't scratch it. Man, that sounds good. It's really faint. Just barely hear it on the AT Pro. Ah, oh, the sound of money. I hope that's what it is. The best signal I've heard all day, but it don't mean it's something good. Oh, man. Oh, I think I seen it. No, maybe I didn't. <laughs> Oh. I must have moved it around. Where did it? Hold on. No! It disappeared! It's in here somewhere. You don't just lose a signal. What? Oh, it's in the bottom! Oh, it's silver! No way! Oh, it's silver. Oh, it's a dime. Oh, it's just a rosy dime, but man! Yeah, that's what it is. Sweet! Let's see if I can get a year off of it. 1952. Let's recheck the hole and make sure that's it. I think that's it, but we'll dig it out a little bit more just to make sure. I got this really good signal showing up as an 81, and it was right in the dirt clump. And check out what it is. It's a silver coin. I don't even know where it's from. That is awesome. It's from 1824. If you look at the back. That may be rare. Unreal. I'm gonna have to recheck the hole to see if there's anything else in there. But it was just blowing my ears out on the AT Pro. And I thought it was gonna be junk. That's why you gotta dig everything. We have George over there. 
Look He's at that. Something. Flatty. A flat button. That's awesome. Yep, I come over here and I invaded the Nuggets area. <laughs> so I'm picking out his nectar. That would have been mine. See, he's so busy filming that he's just like, he wasn't uh, paying attention. I swooped yeah. in and took this flat button from him. Really good signal down here. And it was showing up as a 75. And check out what it is. It's an Indian head penny. 18 95 that is sweet it has a beautiful patina on it too it was only about two inches deep well the day's coming to a close and i just got a good signal down here showing up in the 70s and it's a civil war bullet looks like it's been fired that's really sweet right towards the end of the day i was heading back to the truck Maybe we'll find some more. Well, I'm finally back at home now. I've been gone for five days out of town. I got to dig with KG and the Ringmaster from Diggers. We had a blast. And we even managed to find some cool stuff. Let's take a look at what I found. Have a Civil War bullet. It's a three ringer. A couple musket balls. This looks to be a Colt pistol bullet. Some buttons. There's a thimble. This is a really cool button here. It's in good shape for being 150 years old at least. Found this piece of silver and it has someone's initials carved on it. Probably off some type of matchbox case or something. Some wheat scents. Here's the Stand in Liberty quarter I dug. It's dateless. I know, that's a bummer, but most of them are. I'll take it though, because it's silver. There's the 52 rosy dime I found in the field. Has a D mint mark. 1895 Indian head penny. Has a beautiful patina on it. I also found this old coin here. I think it's a shilling. Haven't looked it up yet though. Has a date of 1824 on the back. That's really cool. It's in good shape for its age. And I also found the best words you'll ever hear. John 3.16 You know, God, He loved us so much that He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins so we can be reconciled to God by His blood that was shed. And from the shedding of his blood, we've been cleansed from all of our sin. We don't have to do that anymore. We don't have to cling to our sin. Jesus is better. Take your sins, drop them off at the cross, and by faith, live for Christ. You know, Jesus died for you. Will you live for Him? I hope so. Because God, He loves you. He loves you so much. Even when you do wrong, He still loves you. He's a forgiving God. Merciful and gracious. Many people think that in order to go to heaven, all you have to do is just be good. Do good things, be nice, and God will reward you of salvation but that's not true that's not what the Bible says it's not how salvation works see God is holy and we are sinners and we are sinners by nature no one taught you how to sin it comes naturally and because of our sin we've been separated from God 
but there's a but in this. Jesus, like I said, he lived a perfect life. He never sinned. And he died for our sins. And if you'll turn from your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll go to heaven. And it's not because of your works. No merit, nothing you can do can earn your way into heaven. It's by grace. By God's grace, through your faith in Christ, you've been saved. It's a gift of God not a result of works, so that no man may boast. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. Thank you for watching. And may God bless you.